The radical left Democrats are at it again. They're constantly making up stories about me because their candidate is a mental and physical basket case. He's never been anything like it. He's also the worst president in the history of our country. He went on a very poorly rated show last night, and he talked about Donald Trump and his wife. I don't know the name of my wife. You got to take a look at the other guy. He's about as old as I am, but he can't remember his wife's name. Yeah. And, uh... Mercedes? You can't remember your wife's name? Guys, I hate to say it, his mind is slipping. I think he's too old to run. He was referring to the fact that at CPAC, where I had a sold-out speech, the biggest audience they've had in years, I think maybe ever, I made the statement that Melania was very popular because when I mentioned her name, the audience went wild. I then looked at the two people, man and wife, Matt and Mercedes Schlapp, and I said, wow, they really like the First Lady. She was a great friend. People loved her. People love her. Oh, look at that. Wow. Mercedes, that's pretty good. Yeah, she's good. So this got taken as the fact that I thought Mercedes was the first lady. It has nothing to do with that. These people are really dishonest. They are absolutely something. They have a horrible candidate who's a horrible president. They make up things constantly. You take a look at when I use Barack Hussein Obama and I interject him into where it's supposed to be Biden, and I do it purposely for comedic reasons and for sarcasm, because a lot of people say that Obama's running the country, not Biden, because he's sleeping all the time. They say, oh, I don't know the name of the president. Or when I imitate this guy getting off a stage, he always goes like this. Where am I going? Where the hell am I going? I want to get out. Oh, no, over there, over there. Um. What they do is they say, oh, he had trouble getting off the stage. I have no trouble getting off the stage. Anybody that watches what I do at rallies would say, wow, that's amazing. He can go two hours without a teleprompter, not making even a little mistake. Very few people, maybe almost nobody can do what I do. So here's the story. The disinformation of the Democrats is unbelievable. They do it because they have a horrible candidate. Don't associate me with the mental midget that you portray, because I want to tell you, he should not be leading this country. And hopefully, on November 5th, he's not going to be. We're going to have a big election. We're going to have a big victory. And we're going to make America great again. Thank you.